Introducing the all new platinum, wait a minute, that's not right. There we go. Introducing the all new platinum card from American Express to help you save money on stuff you wouldn't normally buy anyway. Hold on, hold on, let me pick up all my annual and monthly and semi-annual credits. Hey everyone, it's Mark. I'm here to help you put more money in your pocket through credit cards and smart financial habits. If that sounds good to you, then do me a quick favor and click on the like and subscribe button down below. Also check out the links down below in the description area for some great credit card offers to get some additional cash back when you shop online through Rakuten and to sign up for Matt's Rewards, which is a fantastic app to manage all of your credit cards and rewards in one place. It also allows you to track your purchases across all cards and helps you identify which card to use to earn the most rewards. And if you sign up for Max Rewards Gold, it automatically activates your card linked offers, quarterly spend categories, and a whole lot more. You can get your first month free by using the link in the description. On Thursday, July 1st, 2021, American Express decided to take their Platinum card and give it a little bit of a revamp. And by that I mean the annual fee went like this and the benefits went like this. Which naturally means some people are going to be very happy and others not so much. And if I were to take a guess, I'm going to say that more people are probably going to be unhappy than happy. And if you want to know where I stand, I'm unhappy. But before we dive into Mark's emotional response to all this, we're first going to discuss the CNBC article about all the changes that just happened to the American Express Platinum Card because I feel like they did a very good job of listing things in a very easy to understand order. So we're going to actually pull up the article here on the screen. I'll give some emotional commentary. And then once we go through all that, I'll then put a visual on the screen for you of all the new benefits and the fee changes on one screen. That way you can digest it all yourself and of course simmer in your own emotions. Emotions. So here we go. Welcome to CNBC.com and we begin our journey with a very dramatic title of Amex rebrands the platinum card with 100k welcome bonus up to $1,400 in new statement credits and a $695 annual fee everybody's favorite part. Then below that, it says the Platinum Card from American Express adds everyday benefits to suit all types of cardholders. And this article is hot off the press as of Thursday, July 1st, 2021. And we can thank Elizabeth for keeping us up to date. Then we'll scroll on further down here to the image of a dude chilling by the pool with his American Express Platinum Card, way too much vodka on the rocks, and an iPhone definitely not using Resi to book his reservation for dinner tonight. On down we go. Okay, so this section is pretty much just the intro to the whole article and mostly about the new welcome offer on the card. And of course, welcome offers come and go all the time throughout the year. So we're not going to go through this because, hey, a month or two from now, the offer could totally be different. That's not a new benefit being introduced. But I would like to call out this one first line right up here, which says, as of July 1st, the Platinum Card from American Express is not just a coveted luxury travel credit card, but a premium lifestyle card for just about any consumer, which of course is completely false. In fact, I would say that most consumers probably should not get this card. Anyway, besides the point, down we go. Uh, I missed one line. There we go. Okay, here's what you can expect from the updated Amex Platinum. More luxury travel perks. If you're someone who likes to travel in comfort, these added benefits will make your next vacation or business trip so much more luxurious. Which I suppose is a very different way of saying much more restricted with a lot more red tape and a police officer watching your every move. It begins with a $200 hotel credit. Card holders receive an annual statement credit for prepaid bookings at fine hotels and resorts or the hotel collection properties made through American Express. So while that initially sounded great of being a $200 hotel credit, of course it's highly restricted. You must have it prepaid so you cannot do a normal flexible booking. It also must be through the fine hotels and resorts or the hotel collection. And do remember that the hotel collection requires a two or more night consecutive booking. So there's at least two to three restrictions just with that one benefit alone. Next up, we have the $179 clear credit. Card holders receive an annual statement credit for a clear membership, which offers expedited security screening at select airports and stadiums across the US. Now that's pretty great. It is a wide open credit. You simply charge your clear membership to your card and you'll get reimbursed. The only downside here is that clear is only operational in select locations. They are far from being as widespread as TSA PreCheck, but nonetheless, if you don't live near a clear enabled airport or stadium, then that probably won't have much meaning to you. 
But of course, if you do live in those areas, then I do say clear is a fantastic benefit. Next up is access to even more airport lounges. And that's kind of true. I'm not gonna go into that very much because also the Delta Sky Miles Reserve card will be getting higher access as well. So that's not truly unique, just the Platinum card. And then fourth is premium private jet program. Card holders can take advantage of a 20% discount on Wheels Up Connect and a 40% discount on Wheels Up Core memberships, allowing you to book private jet charters on demand. Card holders also get a $500 or a $2,000 credit added to their Wheels Up account to use toward their initial flight within their first year of membership, depending on their selected Wheels Up plan. So if you do fly private through the Wheels Up program, then hey, this is actually a pretty significant savings that could be beneficial to you. Now let's scroll down a bit further here. Now, before we move into the lifestyle perks, I will highlight this text right here, which says Platinum Card members already enjoyed a whole range of travel perks, including up to uh, $200 airline fee credit, up to $200 Uber credit, and up to $100 for global entry or to say pre check application fee every four years. We're not going to be discussing those any further because we're already used to having those when the annual fee on this card used to be $550. So we'll pass on that. Now on to the new lifestyle perks. On top of new travel benefits, Platinum Card members can now enjoy a range of benefits aimed at improving their everyday lives, which is a very elegant way of saying wrapping your red tape in more more red tape. Now this begins with a $240 digital entertainment credit. Card holders get up to $240 in annual statement credits, $20 per month that is, on eligible purchases or subscriptions with Peacock, Audible, Sirius XM, and the New York Times. Enrollment is required. This is followed by a $300 Equinox credit. Card holders can take advantage of a $300 annual statement credit, that is $25 per month, on purchases of select Equinox Fitness Club monthly memberships or a digital subscription to Equinox Plus, the on-demand fitness app. Now for this, I will say that if you're paying for Equinox Plus already, that's a pretty nice discount on the app, which I believe is around 40 bucks a month. However, if you want to use this towards your actual physical gym membership location, uh, the bummer here is that it is select. Let me highlight that. Select Equinox Fitness Club monthly memberships. And as I understand this, if you have a single location membership, which means you have access on a monthly basis to one club, that will not be eligible. You must have the higher tier memberships giving you access to all their locations or their destination membership or their E by Equinox membership. These are the ones that cost three, four, five hundred dollars a month and up. So if we switch on over to American Express right here, go to the new Platinum card right here, explore the offer, and then scroll down to the Equinox uh, section of this landing page. Um, let's see what it says here. Yeah, for monthly Equinox all access, destination, or E by Equinox membership. So at least from what I understand right now, this does not work with a single club location. Those typically are about 160 to 240 a month. So for most people who are not traveling and need a whole network of gyms, if you just wanna have access to your home gym because you live near an Equinox, uh, it seems like this has no value to you. And then we've got Global Dining Access by Resi. Card holders can take advantage of the new Global Dining Access program by Resi that offers exclusive reservations at some of the world's top restaurants, access to premium events, and other perks like Priority Notify and VIP status. So I can't put a dollar value on that. It's not a typical credit like a lot of the other benefits, but if you value being able to get access to uh, special restaurants, VIP perks, and get notified of restaurant availability before other people, then that could be a nice benefit for you. Then we've got that bigger welcome bonus again, the higher annual fee, uh, which is now going to be $695, so a $145 increase over the previous of $550. And then this text here that says, Platinum card holders who opened accounts prior to July 1st, 2021, will see the new annual fee take effect on their annual renewal dates on or after January 1st, 2022. All right, so now with the article covered, we're now going to put a visual here on the screen that we can see all the new benefits in one place. Okay, so here's what we've got. We first have the Equinox credit of $300 per year issued as $25 per month credits. 
that will be for select memberships only and for the Equinox Plus app. Second was the digital entertainment credit. That's $240 per year, broken down or issued as $20 per month. That's eligible to cover charges from Audible, The New York Times, Sirius XM, and Peacock. Third is the hotel credit of $200 per year, and that's an annual benefit. This will work towards purchases made through the Fine Hotels and Resorts program or the hotel collection as well, and these must be prepaid bookings. Fourth is the clear credit, $179 per year, also an annual credit. So all you have to do there is simply add your Platinum card to your clear account. That way when it bills each year, it'll charge to your Platinum card, and then you'll be reimbursed. Fifth, we've got the Global Dining Access by Resi. Of course, the value of this will vary. I cannot peg a specific dollar of value to that because it depends on how much you personally value being able to get hard to get reservations and the perks that may go along with it. And sixth is the Premium Private Jet Program where you get 20 to 40% off plus a $500 to $2,000 credit toward your first flight in year one through your partnership with Wheels Up. Then on the far left-hand side of your screen, we can see the annual fee increase of $145. That's because the card used to be $550 per year. It's now $695. But the increase in benefit value is $919 or more. And I only added Equinox, the entertainment credit, the hotel credit, and Clear all together because those four had actual specific dollar amounts. Now in the intro to this video, I mentioned that I was feeling very unhappy. And to help you understand why I'm feeling very unhappy, here's a little taste of what's going on inside my brain right now. You walked into an Equinox gym to sign up to become a new member, but of course you can't become a member of just that one club. You've gotta join their destination or all access or eBuy Equinox membership and pay three, four, five hundred dollars a month. Then you walk over here and you wanna have some of your entertainment costs be reimbursed. But of course you can't do that because you're a Netflix user or a Hulu user or an ESPN user. Audible, New York Times, Sirius XM, and Peacock. That's it. Now you wanna travel and go on a great vacation with your family, but uh, you can't be an Airbnb user. You also can't book with Marriott, IHG, Hilton, Wyndham, Choice Hotels, or Radisson directly. You also can't use Priceline, Expedia, Kayak, or any of those. You must book through American Express, but not just American Express. You must go through American Express and only then through the Fine Hotels and Resorts program and or the Hotel Collection. Only those two under the big umbrella, under the bigger umbrella, under the travel industry will work. Oh gosh, and I almost forgot. They have to be prepaid too. So even though your vacation is not until five months from now, you gotta pay all your money now today. So now onto my problems. Frankly, I kind of like Amex's attempt at taking a travel card, keeping the travel core, and then giving some lifestyle benefits around that to fit more into your lifestyle. But the problem that I have with this is how Amex actually implements all of these changes on their card. It's kind of like this. Amex paints the picture of this wonderful dream of private dining reservations and private jets and private gym memberships and all this luxury elevated stuff. But then they take that dream and they put it into a box and they put that box into a smaller box and that smaller box into a super small box. In other words, that beautiful life of freedom and luxury becomes very small and very limited very quickly. I'd love to be able to book hotels in whichever way I like and use my platinum card for it and have some sort of credit be reimbursed. I'd love to go sign up for a nice gym like Lifetime, Equinox, etc but actually be able to choose the membership that I like in a location that I like if it happens to be near me. I love to go out and use my platinum card for sporting events and other cool things like concerts or amusement parks, etc. but instead I only have four options to choose from and they're only online streaming related. Basically what I'm trying to get across here is that this is feeling a whole lot more like this. And quite frankly, I don't really need discounted mayonnaise right now. So to wrap things up, are the new benefits worth the additional cost? For some people, probably so. I'd say on the whole, on average, probably not because of the way that the benefits are implemented. So once again, the problem here is implementation and how all of these credits and benefits work together, which they really don't. And that's all I've got to say about that. With all that said, if you enjoyed today's video and believe it could benefit others, then please help me get it in front of more people by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications. Also check out the links down below in the description area to view some great credit card offers, to get some additional cash back when you shop online through Rakuten, and to sign up for Matt's Rewards, which is a fantastic app to manage all of your credit cards and rewards in one place. It also allows you to track your purchases across all cards and helps you identify which card to use to earn the most rewards. 
rewards. And if you sign up for Max Rewards Gold, it automatically activates your card linked offers, quarterly spend categories, and a whole lot more. You can get your first month free by using the link in the description. And I have no doubt that many of you out there are wondering, is the Amex Platinum card still worth paying $6.95 a year for given the new benefits? Well, of course, that'll be totally variable based on your circumstances and situation. I may consider that for another future video topic because I'd say that you could justify, especially with the additional benefits that were already on the card before all these changes took place. For example, we still got that $200 Uber credit, the $200 airline fee incidental credit, the $100 SATS credit, all the airport lounge access, elite status with Marriott Hilton, all those other perks as well. When you have the full bid picture in front of you, it can be a lot easier to justify. But of course, the topic of this video was just the new benefits versus the new fee itself. So I'll definitely consider producing another video of justifying the $695 annual fee with all the perks considered. But until then, I thank you all for tuning into today's video. I hope it brought you some great value. I'll see you again in future videos. And until then, remember, you are great.